The biggest cyber security event of the year just started. It's called Advent of Cyber. If you're already not familiar with this, then starting December 1st, every day until Christmas, there will be completely beginner friendly cyber security challenges and you can win up to $150,000 in prizes. This event is completely free to join. So even if you're a complete beginner, the next 24 days could be the start of your cyber security career. And TryHackMe is hosting this event. So if I scroll down, I get more description of the event. So as already mentioned, it is completely free and beginner friendly. And it is your gateway into cybersecurity. Every year they have a different storyline. This year we have to outsmart King Malher's chaotic holiday scheme. And we can check the prizes. I can see we can win iPhone 17, MacBook. We can have some hacking tools like the Flipper Zero, Raspberry Pi, the Rubber Ducky. We get softwares and exam vouchers too. Oh, we can also win certificate. So you can add this to your LinkedIn profile. So if I scroll more down, I can see we have the details of the event. It starts on Monday 1st December. So it already started. And every day at 4 p.m. GMT, the new challenges are released. And how to enter? Just create account on Try Hack Me. And here we can see what we will learn before Christmas. So let's check all. And these are all the skills we will learn before 2026. And if I scroll down, we have the theme of the challenge, snow falls over Wearville, but the stock mass is under siege. Mix kid is gone, and King Melher is spreading chaos from Hopsack Island, hijacking presence, system, and joy itself. We can uncover the truth and save stock mass. Here we can see the path. So we have to start from warm up. So let's start this. So at first I can see the name of the room, how long it will take to solve the room and how many people are currently in the room. If I scroll down, I can see there are 15 tasks. So we have to complete this 15 tasks to solve the room. So let's start with task one. So for task one, this is just a welcome message. We don't have to do anything. These are all the things that we discussed. So I'll click on check to complete this task. For task two, how to use try hack me? You can use try hack me directly on your web browser. So we do not need to do anything here. I'll click on check to complete. Task three is join our community. We don't have to do anything here too. I'll click on check to complete. Task four introduction gives us a description of the theme. The snow has started falling in Wherville home of the best festival company. The team is preparing for stock mass, but something's not right. And Mixkiddy suspects something is wrong. The name keeps coming up. Is King Malher? What could it mean? So before joining the stock mass response team, we have to complete 10 short missions to ensure we are ready. So I'll click on check and task four is completed. Now the actual challenge starts. So task five is challenge one, password pandemonium. So if I click on this view side button, we will have a split screen and our challenge on the right. And I can see the description of the challenge. It says as you log into your workstation, an alert will pop up. I can see we have the alert. It says weak password detected and Mixkitty's password 123 has also been flagged. So our objective is to create a strong password that passes all system check and it isn't found in the lit password list. And we have to enter a password with at least 12 characters, which includes uppercase, lowercase, numbers, and symbols. And we have to ensure it isn't in the data breach. So I'll click on update password. And here we have to create a strong password. So you can definitely create it manually like this. But the best security practice is to use a password manager. I'm using LastPass. And here I can see uppercase, lowercase, numbers, and symbols are selected. Our password length has to be at least 12 characters. So I'll increase this and I can see this is my password. I'll copy this, paste it and I can see it passes all the checks. I'll click on submit and I can see we found the flag. Let me copy this, paste it and click on check. And task 5 is completed. For challenge 2, I'll click on view site. The name of the task is the suspicious chocolate.exe. So it is a Windows executable file and the description says a shiny USB appeared on our desk. Inside it, there is a mysterious file called chocolate.exe. 
we have to scan the file with a simulated virus total tool to decide whether it is safe or malicious. So here I can see in the virus tool.com the file has been uploaded. Let's scan the file. And here we have the detection ratio. Only one antivirus tool has detected the file to be malicious. For 49 other antivirus, it is clean. So a good security practice is better to be safe than sorry. So even if one antivirus detected it to be malicious, my conclusion would be that the file is malicious and I'll click on submit. And I can see we found the flag. I'll copy this, paste it and click on check. Now for challenge three, welcome to the attack box. I'll click on view site. Our objective is to find and read the hidden welcome message inside the attack box. So I can see it says type help for commands. Let's type help. And these are all the commands I can use. The first step it says use ls to list files. So it is a Linux system. I will type ls and I can see we have one folder. Step two is to cd and the name of the folder to change directories. In Linux, folders are also called directories. So I will type cd, which is short for change directory and type the name of my directory, which is challenges. And inside this directory, if I list all the files again, I can see there is a file called welcome.txt. If I want to read this file, I will type the command cat welcome.txt and I can see we have the flag. I'll copy this, paste it and click on check and we were correct. Now challenge 4 is the CMD conundrum. I'll start this and like the previous challenge, I will type help and I can see these are all the commands we can use. So challenge 3 was a Linux box. This is a Windows system. In Linux, we used ls to list all the files. Right now we have to use dar. This is the Windows version of ls. So I will type dar. And I can see there is a file called readme.txt. And there is another folder called mystery data. Now with the command dar slash a, we have to rebuild hidden files. So if I type dar slash a, I do not see the hidden file. Let's change to the mystery data folder. Here the command is the same. Change directory to mystery data. So we are inside mystery data right now. In this folder, if I type dar space dash a again, I can see there's a hidden file called hidden flag.txt. So in Linux, when we want to read a file, we have to type cat. But for Windows, we have to type type and the name of the file, which is hidden flag.txt. And I can see we found the flag. So I'll copy this, paste it, and click on check. So task 8 is also completed. Let's do task 9, which is Linux lore. I'll start it. And for task 9, there is a folder called mixkd and it is inside the home folder. So if I type cd home and inside home, I want to go inside mixkd. And I can see we're directly inside the mixkd folder. Now in Linux, if you want to list hidden files too, then with ls, we have to type dash la, l is for long list and a is for all. So I want to list all the files, including the hidden ones. And I can see there is a file called secret message. In Linux, a hidden file starts with dot. So if I cat dot secret message, I can see we have the flag. I'll copy this, paste it and click on check. Now for challenge six, the leak in the list. And here we have the simulated version of the website, Have I Been Pwned. So if you're not familiar with the website, Have I Been Pwned, this is a very famous website where you can check your email address or passwords and see if your credentials has been leaked. So if I type the password, password123, I can see this password has been leaked. So this is the simulated version of this. So we have to check this email. Let's copy this, enter the email and click on check and I can see it has been compromised and this is the website from where the email has been compromised. So I'll click on this and I can see we're correct. We found the flag. Let me copy this, paste and click on check. Now for task 11 challenge 7, I'll start it 
and our objective is to log into the router and secure it with a strong password. So first we have to log in with the username admin and the password admin. So let's log in. For the username I'll type admin. For the password I'll type admin and click on login. Now we have to set a strong password again. I'll generate the password with LastPass. Copy this and paste it. Paste it again for confirmation and I can see all checks passes. I'll click on save and we have the flag. I'll copy, paste and click on check. Now for challenge 8, the app trap. So our objective is to find and remove the malicious connected app. So one of the app right here has some unusual permission and the app has the permission of password vault. So this is instantly a red flag. Your app should never have permission of the password vault. So we have to revoke the access. So first let's check the weather elf. I can see the first two, I cannot see the third one. Here too, I cannot scroll to the third one. I'm not sure if the problem is on my end or in try hackney's end, but we can try something. If I try to select everything and copy this and paste. Okay, so the last one is network access. Let me go back and check with the real. Again, let's try to copy everything. So the last one is notifications. Now let's search the last one. Let's copy everything, paste. Okay, so the last one is password vault. So this app is the problem. Let me try to revoke it. And here we have the flag. Let me copy, paste, and click on check. Now for challenge nine, the chatbot confession. So the best festival company's AI assistant, Festive Bot, have been revealing internal URLs and even passwords. And we have to identify which chatbot message contains sensitive information. So here we have the list of the messages. I can see the second one. There is an internal URL. And here it is leaking the email credentials, the username and the password. And this one too. It is revealing the service token for the mail API. So I'll click on submit. So we were correct. I'll copy this, paste, and click on check. Now for challenge 10. Here we have Sockmas web servers are showing heavy traffic, but one log entry stands out, which is this one. Someone is using an operating system called Bunny OS. And here we have the HTTP access log. I can instantly notice this one. The user agent is Bunny OS. I'll click on submit and we were correct. I'll copy, paste and click on check. And I think we're done. So our warm up is completed. I'll click on check. So this one is completed. On the next video, we will be solving this one. So if you want to stay connected and follow all the challenges, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.